Hey everyone, I've got another chainmail project here to share with you today. This is for a pair of earrings that combine a variation of the box chain pattern in copper with some turquoise beads. I really love how turquoise and copper look together and I've been wanting to do something for a while that combines the two and this is what I've come up with. You're gonna need a few things for this project. Obviously, you're gonna need a couple earring hooks. Mine are sterling silver. You'll also need a number of copper 5 30 seconds of an inch ring, some copper 1 8th of an inch ring, and these rings are both in 20 gauge, and you'll need some turquoise beads. I got these from Michaels, but I've seen them for sale at a number of craft and jewelry stores as well. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is create a piece of four to one chain that is eight units long. And the difference between this and what I've done in the past with some of my other tutorials is the connecting rings are actually gonna be the smaller rings and the closed rings are gonna be the larger rings. So I've closed a number of the larger rings and now I'm gonna weave them together using the smaller rings. And what that's gonna do in the end is create sort of a flat box chain pattern which is a bit different than what we usually see, but the end result lends itself very well to earrings like this. So you can see here now I've created a small section of European 4 to 1, and I'm just gonna continue adding rings to that until I get to the length of eight units long that I'm looking for. Now I'm gonna fold the pattern over and add connecting rings to turn it into a piece of box chain and it's again that sort of flat box chain pattern that I described earlier and my end result is going to be a little piece of flat box weave pattern. I'm going to add some extra rings to the end of it here, a little piece of 2-2 chain and that's going to connect to the earring hook and also uh, keep me from getting mixed up. I want the, the pattern to be the same direction on both earrings so you can see the direction that I've put these rings on uh, with the actual overlap of the box chain. Okay, so now this is the hardest part of this pattern. We're gonna add a third ring to the end of the box chain, not the end that we added the 2-2 chain for the earring hook, the end that's actually gonna have the turquoise beads on it. And this small ring is gonna go through the two small rings on the sides of the box chain, but coming up between the two large rings on the last section of box chain. So if you take a look at the freeze frame here, you'll see how this ring needs to be positioned for this pattern to work. Now we can take a large ring and put a turquoise bead on it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the second last large ring on the box chain on one side and come out the last large ring of the box chain on the other side. So in total, we're going through four rings. We're going through the two last large rings of the box chain. We're going through that small ring that we added to the last section of box chain between the two large rings and we're going through the second last large ring of the box chain on one side, it doesn't matter which side. Now we're gonna add another turquoise bead to a ring and we're gonna basically do the same thing but the opposite side this time. So the second last large ring that you captured in the last step, you're gonna capture the second last large ring on the opposite side of the box chain. So now we're going to add three more turquoise beads and these three rings just need to go through the last three links of the box chain, the two large and the one small. And as you're putting these together, make sure you sort of follow that overlapping pattern of beads and everything will be held in place when you're done. The last thing we're going to do to finish up this earring is to use a small ring to connect the earring hook to the 2-2 two -two chain. So that's one earring finished, and now we're just gonna follow all those steps one more time to create a second to match.
that's another simple chainmail project for you guys to try out. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to know what you thought of this project. Drop down into the comments below, let me know, and make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'll have a lot more videos like this coming out soon. Thanks for watching.